G'day guys, Sci-Fi back again with another subscriber's choice, number 51. So yeah, past the 50 mark, hope to do another 50. Let's see what happens. Anyways, so this one's here for my mate Manny, MG Villain. He's just managed to pick himself up quite a few nice um, vintage series and other series of Qui-Gon Jinn. And I asked, I've got the uh, EOP one, <coughs> which was a uh, 2009 Legacy release by MailAway and has also released in 2000 I believe as well but it was very rare I think the um I think that EOP fart joke you know that <laughs> EOP also you know that thing that sort of fell flat on many of the <coughs> audience goers heads but anyway yeah so you got a basic three three quarter inch Qui-Gon Jinn this is yeah, so basically to, to pick up this figure, you got a redemption co uh, card or something, a bit of paper, uh, five UPC barcodes from carded figures of the Legacy Collection figures, and $6.99 American money for postage and handling. You mailed it away and you got this in a white mail-away box. Bingo bango, you got this for free. Would you call that free to buy five figures plus seven bucks and wait probably forever? And it was US only, but me, good old me, sci fi looks online and goes, ah, ten bucks loose on eBay and grabs it back in 2009, 2010, I think I got it. I've had it for quite a while. It's a good figure. Um, or points of articulation, I don't know. I've never actually moved Qui-Gon. He's pretty much all sat like that. He does have soft goods on the cape. Capes are dusty, sorry. The capes are probably meant to be also very fairly white. Um, yeah, saddlebags don't move. Uh, tether does. Leather. The figure is pretty cool. Stands quite well, quite a solid made figure. Underneath got all sorts of spots that have been painted on. The 2009 version or 2008, whatever, has a lot more spots around the hind quarters and around his farting backside. And also, from what I could see from photos, that are, from photos, uh, he looks a bit green around the legs too, don't know why. Guy was not green, he's from a desert planet. No idea why. So, anyways, Jesus, I hate getting the background all nice and clear. There we go. Come on. Anyway, so, <coughs> yeah, good figure for displays and dioramas, not for carded figure collectors, though, because it just came in a white mail away box, undescriptive, not cool at all. So there you go, I don't know how um, rare, they were super rare back in 2000, this is actually a 2000 version, or it says somewhere on one of his feet, it says 1999 Hasbro, so yeah, 1999 this one was made, released in 2000, but only in small amounts, probably due to a silly fart joke. So yeah, um, I've got actually three displays of Tatooine. I've got the Phantom Menace one, I've got a Jawa Sandcrawler one, and of course the Creature Cantina one. So Tatooine's pretty cool for displays. This is a cool looking one. So yeah, if you have any of those displays or dioramas, and let me know if they're easy to find these days, I just have no idea. Alright guys, that's pretty much all about it. Um, more feet, more um, videos coming up, but not so soon. Got a lot of other problems to deal with at the moment, and I'll sort them out. No need for you to know about it. All right, guys, all the best. Um, I will try and catch up with your videos. It's been pretty slow lately. I've been very busy, but that's cool. All right, guys, sci-fi out. The force will be with you always.